All right, so today we have taken the Skyliner from uh, the boardwalk um, all the way over here to Pop Century Resort. Um, we have some dinner reservations in a little bit uh, at the boardwalk, um, but we thought that we would take this opportunity to come over and check out um, the running trail over at Pop Century, right, Kristen? We did. Yep, so here we are. So Pop Century is behind us, um, and Unfortunately, we're looking at the Art of Animation, which is not open yet, um, because there's this really great uh, running trail that goes all the way around this giant lake here, all the way around. It looks like a really big uh, path, um, but that's uh, unfortunately not open yet, so we'll have to maybe come back and check that out in a little bit. Um, I hear, when did you say they might open? So Art of Animation opens on November the 1st. Okay. So that's their new reopening date for this resort. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are some barricades here that we won't be intruding upon. Uh, mm -hmm. So, but we're here for Pop Century. We mm -hmm. are not here to do art of animation. And I think you're gonna love uh, what we're about to show you. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna um, uh, go around and see what uh, the Pop Century running trail has to offer and uh, find out uh, how easy it is to navigate and uh, figure out so that when you decide to come stay here at Pop Century that you can uh, run on the trail here and uh, have a little bit of help uh, figuring out how to do, do that properly, I guess. So should we go figure it out? Let's go do this. So it, uh, it didn't take us long to find the uh, running trail marker, right, Kristen? So it yep. um, looks like we are here, which is, um, if you can see it, uh, which is kind of right over by the Skyliner, um, kind of in the middle. So that means that this is the art animation side, right? And this is the pop century side. So uh, they give you a um, map here where if everything was open, you could go all the way around, which is awesome. But uh, that's not the case today. So we're not going to be able to go all the way around. We're going to maybe start on one side um, and maybe we might loop through a little bit because uh, they've got these really cool buildings, uh, part of the hotel structure here. Um, at the hotel that are pretty cool. So uh, we think it might be um, a little bit more fun to run around the actual hotel buildings um, that have these big iconic poppy um, icons with them. So uh, we'll use this as a, as a guide for sure starting out, but uh, let's uh, go find out where we can run. So here we are. We are starting right at the lobby, the front desk of the Pop Century. And we're starting this POV here because we wanted some place that kind of when you start your run, you see all of the exciting features that they have here and the decor. And uh, today's actually a pretty good day for us to do this because it's uh, not terribly sunny. It just rained a little bit earlier, so and it's pretty cool out. And there's not a ton of people here still. This resort actually, the day that we're filming it now, has only been open like a week. So there's still uh, plenty of people around. There's a bunch of people in the pools, but it just opened recently. So um, still not at full capacity for sure. So we're heading down towards the 80s and 90s building to kind of see what um, those decorations look like. Making your, you know, run through these buildings would be doable, I think, in the morning. Probably during the day, it might be harder. Or maybe after, you know, eight or nine o'clock when people are starting to go to the parks. But for sure, I bet you could kind of spend an early morning here or if you're a night runner, maybe some late evenings because for the foreseeable future, the parks aren't staying open too late. Epcot's open till nine and the other parks are closing pretty early. So if you did an evening run when people are starting to get back to their rooms and they're kind of staying there, I think that you could run in here too, not just around the lake, which would be pretty fun. Mm 
once we get through these buildings, we're gonna head out towards the lake where they actually advertise the running trail. I don't recommend it, but I bet it would be fun to run up and down all of these, these guys here from the foosball. I totally would do it. Maybe you guys should too. If somebody can take a video of that, I would love it. Maybe I'll do that later. Excellent. Now we're getting to the end of the building, so we'll head out and find this lake. I know, there is Twister here. See, I don't need to run here. I just need to come hang out. I think I've been staying in the wrong places. <laughs> Mm hmm Yeah, so we're gonna come head around here and now this kicks you out right by the lake where we kind of would be running and what I, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so fun. So if you are running around the lake, look at, they have these um, little markers of fun facts. Ah, oh, this is gonna be fantastic. I'll admit, this is my first time here. I haven't stayed here. I've stayed uh, at a number of places on Disney property, but I have not stayed at Pop Century. And they don't have any um, reserva or restaurants that require reservations, you know, like a, a boardwalk or an Animal Kingdom Lodge or Wilderness Lodge like that. So I've never really had a reason to come over here. I know it's here, I know about it, I know what it looks like, but there's a lot of really fun things here. See, these buildings are not open for sure, which would make it easy to run right now. Oh, this is definitely an 80s building. <laughs> okay, I am going to catch up to Adam and we should be out on one of the other trail here, areas here in just a second. So we've made it out here to the lake where we're uh, filming the POV. And just wanted to take a moment to kind of show you where in the lake here they've got the barricades and it's pretty large if you've ever been over here or maybe if you haven't uh, huge running place lots of space in the sidewalks here but the barricades almost probably a little bit less than half so you can't go very far uh, looks like somebody has gone through <laughs> these barricades here but in order to get through uh, the resorts you've got plenty of space and to get those miles that you're looking for you can easily i think you could easily get a two mile loop in here if you're going through some of the buildings plus kind of the half of the lake that you get when you are on the pop century half of it and as we were talking about a little earlier this the art of animation side of it that we're looking at right now is not going to open up till November is what they've stated uh, as of currently. So we know that if you're coming anytime before then, we were even just discussing maybe for wine and dine, uh, which is in, you know, one of the first weekends in November. This is a great option. I'm not really sure why Art of Animation is the last to open. There might be some reason for that and maybe they'll push the date back of November 1st. So you might end up seeing those barricades if you decide to come over here and run during that weekend. So I want you guys to see how far you can get around. Um, you also can probably add in some uh, extra steps here going the bridge by the Skyliner. There's not too many people. 
so it hasn't been a problem today, but it could be a problem if this is a busy time that you're running. Because uh, it looks like <laughs> you can see the Skyliner in the distance. Oddly enough, they think that they must be having a lot of people here during peak time. So they've got the please wait here markers all the way from that right there Skyliner entrance. So they are certainly expecting a decent amount of people. So let me head down here a little bit because we are on the 50s end right now and we're heading back towards kind of the middle of the resort and getting in some of the other buildings into the video. But there is um, a lot of these signs along the walkway here that kind of make it fun, something to look at while you're walking around. Um, and we really haven't seen a lot of people. so. It gives you an opportunity to kind of run without a mask if there's nobody around. Perhaps, you know, if it's busy, you want to carry one with you for sure. But the less people, then you can enjoy your run. And it's pretty quiet when you get to the opposite end of the lake. Uh, there's like a parking lot over there. Um, you're not running. You don't really see it. It's just kind of you have uh, it's adjacent. And it's really quiet over there too. A lot of trees and things along the lake on the opposite side. So let me just pan over here so you can see. I'm gonna cut in by some of these buildings so you can see the trails if you decide that you want to get away from the lake and you kind of wanna run in by some of this fun stuff that they have. We'll let them pass by. <laughs> See, even still in here, it's really awesome. And it's fun. I This is now kind of one of my top places that I'd like to come and do some long runs in, especially when that lake is completely open. It would be uh, really exciting to do that whole loop, especially art of animation being over there. Um, and once you add that in, you could get some really long runs if that's something that you want to do. Or just a quick short run once around the lake, uh, probably about two miles there. Um, by the time you get to your destination, your car, your hotel room, anything like that. So I'm headed back in towards the main check-in area. Adam's still filming, kind of weaving in and out of some of the buildings. Uh, so we'll meet him back here in the middle in just a second. Okay, Kristen, so uh, we finished up the POV. Um, how did everything look? I think uh, this is a great place. Mm -hmm. I think this is gonna be a great POV to run to because there's a lot visually to look at and I love that when I run like I love things to look at keep your mind occupied mm -hmm. right yeah you know, when we started this channel me and you kind of talked about the fact that gosh there's so many great places to run at Walt Disney World I am surprised there really are even so many great places to run um, than I even thought at first mm -hmm. we started coming out and visiting all of them that we would never really been to before and gosh, I mean, I was telling you, Pop Century might be one of my new favorite places to um, to go for a run. Yeah, here we can uh, stand right here. There's just so many different options. Um, the, the trail that, you know, goes all the way around the lake. Mm -hmm. um, there are also these little signs everywhere, like Christian was saying, uh, for every year uh, and a little factoid with it. Yeah. So, you know, like the year that Walt Disney World opened and the, the year of the moon landing. And, all those different little facts are kind of mixed in along the trail as you're running. So it gives you something to read and something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. I want to come back here and go for a run. I definitely do too. I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think just, uh, I talked a little bit earlier on the video that, you know, it's a shortened path, 
right now, but once that art of animation gets open and going again, this would be a great long run place um, if you have training that you need to do or, you know, just want to uh, go for a long run before you hit the parks. And you know what? There are a ton of trees um, mm -hmm. that line most of the whole path around the lake. So when that whole path is open, mm -hmm. it's nice and shaded. Yeah. Which in Florida is needed and oh, yeah. is necessary. So mm -hmm. I even told, I said, man, we should come back here and try and run a half marathon. You know, it's just four times around the loop. We think the loop is about two miles, mm -hmm. right? So we're thinking, you know, uh, you go around the loop for a little over four, four times and, and you got a half marathon done. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm really quite surprised. Uh, this resort offers far more to the runner than I first thought. Um, so to all those people out there on our channel who told us to come here, you guys are totally right. Yeah, this is a great spot. This is awesome. We're going to come back here and run for sure. Yep. Uh, and that being said, um, we followed the rules today. Um, we <laughs> stayed on just this side of the lake. Mm -hmm. uh, right when we got off the Skyliner, we saw on the, on the side, you'll see it in the POV, mm -hmm. um, on the side of Art of Animation, there is a clear... Um, fence blocking the path so that you some can't, barricades barricades exactly so that you can't get into the art of animation resort we saw a runner come by push the barricade oh he just pushed the barricade right over pushed the barricade right <laughs> over and ran straight through yeah. around the lake yeah. and we kind of both looked at ourselves that, that should go on our five things places you shouldn't run video we really need to update that because yeah this runner yeah. didn't didn't care at all uh he just pushed the barricade don't do that aside don't do that um, we also saw a guy with a, a Disney um, employee with a walkie-talkie looking um, in his direction. So he probably didn't make it far, mm -hmm. um, but clearly he had made it halfway around um, the lake on that Art of Animation side. So yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, what's really important here and what we mean is follow the rules um, and uh, you're not going to give any of us runners bad names, right? Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Because <laughs> we want to come back and run here for sure and we want it to be open um all the way around uh because that would be a lot of fun to go try out so um i think we're having just a blast going around to all the disney resorts that are open um and finding out what they have to offer for runners and really they put up signs at every single resort offering a running path so uh kudos to disney for being really really cool um about offering runners a place to be healthy and safe and enjoy their stay right yep so this has been fun thanks for coming out with us yeah. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to um, click on the link up above that is the 30 minute POV uh, that we were just out here creating. So not only can you experience uh, this vlog with us, but you can actually get on a treadmill um, and watch the whole loop that we did. Mm -hmm. So uh, enjoy until next time. Uh, happy running everybody.